A 21 year old sailor has been found not guilty of setting fire to the USS Bonham Richard. The question tonight is what happens next? Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto as CBS 8's David Gofferson reports. A military attorney involved in the case, at least previously, says that he doubts the Navy will try to charge anyone else. I am so grateful that this is finally over. It's been a long two years. Ryan Mays can finally smile after a military judge handed down a not guilty verdict this morning on arson charges filed in the fire that destroyed the USS Bonham Richard. I am looking forward to starting over. I'm thankful to the judge who heard the evidence and cleared my name. And thank you to those of the media who tried to tell my real story. It remains unclear whether Mays will leave the Navy Military attorney Gary Barthel previously represented Mays during a preliminary hearing. Unfortunately, I think his name will forever be linked to this case. I think it's best for him and probably for the Navy uh, that he separate, um, but we'll see what happens with that. The Navy still believes the cause of the fire in July 2020 was arson. Though Mays' defense team tried to show it could have been accidental, sparked by lithium ion batteries or hazardous materials in the lower vehicle storage area of the ship. Barthel says he doubts anyone else will be prosecuted. I don't think that the Navy's going to pursue this any further. I think the Navy's obligation is to look at what was the cause of this fire. Uh, the fact that there were hazardous materials stored down in the lower V, that the lower V became a junkyard, I would hope that those would be the lessons learned to avoid future fires like this. Prosecutors relied on one key witness who said he saw Mays go into the lower V area right before the fire started. And they argued Mays was disgruntled after dropping out of Navy SEAL training. But it was not enough to convict. The fact that he was a cocky young sailor uh, doesn't mean that he set a fire on the ship. It, in fact, it made him a target. We're out here live at Naval Base San Diego. Uh, Mays broke down in tears in the courtroom when that verdict was read. He did not answer questions from reporters when he came outside. And David, so does Ryan Mays have any recourse now against the Navy? For example, can he file a lawsuit to try and recoup legal expenses here? The short answer is no. Uh, I spoke to a legal expert today and, and he told me that Mays would have to file a malicious prosecution lawsuit and he simply does not have any grounds to do that at this point. Now the attorneys representing him during the court martial were paid for by the U.S. government. Well, we'll see what happens next with Seaman Ryan Mays. It's hard to imagine him just going back to work from, for the Navy after this. David Gofferson reporting live for us. Thanks, David.